Hey guys, this is Azralyn with a review of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Deus Ex Mankind Divided is a first-person stealth action game. The story in Mankind Divided takes place two years after Human Revolution, and if you haven't played the previous game, or if you're like me and you just forgot what happened, it's not a problem. There is a video summary of the plot from Human Revolution that you can watch before you start playing Mankind Divided. You play as Adam Jensen in a world where natural-born humans and humans with augmentations are segregated and policed. With mankind divided and extremists on both sides, terrorism, fear, and hate continue to grow. It's your job to dig deeper into these terrorist attacks and the groups or individuals that might be behind them. I enjoyed the story and I thought it was done very well, but don't expect any closure. By the end, I was left with more questions than answers and it feels like they're reserving story content for either DLCs or a future game. Gameplay-wise, Mankind Divided has exactly what I expected from Human Revolution. There were some improvements made, both games still had some annoyances, and both games still had all that stealthy gameplay that I loved as well. You have the option to play using lethal or non-lethal, and non-lethal is always more difficult, especially when you want to be completely stealthy about it. In Human Revolution, I found non-lethal to be a huge nuisance. Fortunately, non-lethal has been noticeably improved in Mankind Divided and the enemies don't wake up as quickly, and there are often multiple routes to your location. And it's significantly easier to get everyone shranked without running out of ammo. Stealthing around is fun, and you can either avoid enemies or take them out one by one. You can choose to go in guns blazing, but being undetected can reap larger XP rewards. You'll spend a lot of time sneaking around as you complete missions, and as you earn XP, you unlock different augmentations. These augmentations have different abilities, and some of the augmentations have the potential to give a serious advantage. Some augmentations are almost necessary, while others you can skip over easily. The gameplay feels responsive, and I always found the close range takedowns to be satisfying. Even though I was playing non-lethal, my thirst for violence was still sated by knockouts. Lethal weapons are a lot more varied, and ammo was much more plentiful. There are only two non-lethal guns though. The Trank Gun is great for far, but it's completely useless at any other distance. It's really weird that when you have no weapon out at all, you can see where you're aiming, but with the Trank Gun drawn, you can't tell unless you're scoped in. I would have really liked to have had a reticule when you have your gun drawn. I found it difficult to try and quick scope with no reticule, and too much zoom for medium range. The Stun Gun has a horribly short range, and I really wish there was a mid-range non-lethal weapon. I was having a blast playing the game, but then I encountered a major crashing issue where I was unable to progress. Many people experience crashing issues in various parts of the game. I tried so many different workarounds and nothing I did worked. Days went by and nothing got fixed. I was so frustrated by this and I got so tired of waiting that I loaded a save from a previous chapter and completed the entire chapter again. This time I did it without causing any enemies to become hostile. I was so thrilled that it worked, and I was able to complete the game with no other issues at all. The time that it's taking them to fix such game-breaking bugs though is absolutely ridiculous, and it definitely leaves a sour taste in my mouth. I've also seen a lot of people complain about the microtransactions. You can pay real money to unlock the augmentations immediately if you want. Sure, it's a greedy business model and I don't agree with it, but at the same time it doesn't make me hate the game because of it. I get why some people are so upset and they don't want this to become a standard business practice in a fully priced game, but I never felt the need to spend extra money and I always had more than enough skill points to spend to accommodate my playstyle. Personally, I'm more annoyed about this season pass. I don't like seeing content being locked behind paywalls and I think people should be more pissed off about that rather than these optional microtransactions. I don't have a problem with people who choose to spend money to make the game easier, as long as they don't intentionally make the game harder to force people to pay. Other than the crashing issues, I've seen a lot of people complain about stuttering and frame drops as well. I never noticed any performance issues though, and I was getting constant frame rates throughout the game. I was running the game on default high settings though, and it wasn't too taxing on my system. I think the game looks great, and the environments feel like the Deus Ex world, and I like that it wasn't the same black and gold color scheme that was in Human Revolution. The character animation is good, the voice acting was on point, and all the cutscenes are done well also. You can skip quickly through the conversation, and you can sometimes skip the cutscenes, but it's not always an option. The music was as expected, true to the Deus Ex series, 
but it can get repetitive at times. I played the game for over 21 hours, but with the huge crash issue that I was having, and having to replay a couple chapters, it should have been more like 16 or so hours. I did a good amount of exploring, and I completed all of the side quests that I found, but there didn't seem to be nearly as many quests as there were in Human Revolution. I'm guessing that's because of the season pass nonsense, but I don't know for sure. When you finish the campaign, a new Game Plus mode becomes available, and you can keep all your augs and start over for those who want to keep playing. I loved playing Deus Ex Mankind Divided, but I didn't get as much playtime out of it as I did in Human Revolution. I still don't like there being a season pass, so if you actually want all of the content, it might be better to wait for a complete pack. Also, with all of the crash issues that others and myself have experienced, I suggest waiting for proper fixes to be patched in and confirmed working before buying this game. Once these issues are fixed, then I would recommend the game to anyone who enjoys the Deus Ex franchise or anyone who is just looking for an excellent stealth action game. What do you guys think about season passes, DLC, and microtransactions? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks everyone, and have a wonderful day!